Hello guys and welcome. In this video like you already see we are using first time Arduino in this channel and building Torlock with stepper motor. I have seen where people are building Torlocks with servo motors but never with stepper motor so I hope this is something new. But enough of speaking and let's get this video started. First we need to print all the parts out, STL files you find in the video description below. But by the way this was not my first attempt. Before I start building lock to my door, I first wanna make sure that my system is working. The Arduino code and wiring I explain in the second half of the video and I also leave the link for the code. Now when everything is wired up we can do the first test. This is unlock. This is lock. This is lock again and this is unlock and yes everything is working so now let's start building lock to my door. I look the best spot where I mount this and then I drill holes for 4mm screws. And if you are watching this video and you are thinking I am ruining my door by drilling those holes then yeah you are right. For the stepper motor I also use 4mm bolts. And the steel rod what is through the rack here is 8mm di diameter. Now when the lock is in place I bring the electronics from my table on top of my filament tower and let's give this a quick test. And again everything is working as it should be. I push the button manually by my finger but this have to be pushed by the steel rod when the door is unlocked. I need to set button exactly right place where the end of the steel rod will be at the unlock position. This is really important that stepper motor is powered when you are doing this because otherwise you can push the steel rod forward. A bit more 3D printing. Now I am making one little box where I can put all my electronics. This is nothing fancy but it's better to leave all the electronic parts just open. First I test fit all the electronics inside the box before I am using double sided tape to set them in place. Now when all the electronics are in box it's time to mount this on my door and finish the door lock. If you have made in this video so far then maybe you like this video. And maybe you wanna consider subscribing. And maybe even turning the notification bell on to not miss my new videos. Thank you. The reason why you saw 3D printer again is because I totally forget that RFID module is going other side of the door. So I 3D print some mount for it. And the wiring was actually pretty big mess. In this wire jungle it was actually pretty hard to understand what wire is what and where it have to go. But now it's finally done and it's time to close. But now it's finally done and it's time to close the cover. Of course I am doing first test door open. So far it looks fine. Now it's time to close the door. I leave camera in this side and I am going to the other side. Well locking is successful. And also door unlocks. It's so great to see when some project work out so well. Maybe because this guy helped me a lot in this project. Yeah. 
but yeah, I am not lying. This project worked almost straightforward, except 3D printed parts. But I think now it's time to start with the second half of the video where I explain the code and the wiring and what you need. Yeah, let's start with the last one. You need Arduino Uno, Arduino stepper motor with the driver, RFID module, bunch of jumper wires, micro push button, 9 volt battery and 5 volt power supply. And here are wiring. If you wanna take a closer look for this, then just pause the video. But one thing what I wanna explain is this button at the middle of the sketch. This is what the steel rod will push to understand that the door is unlocked. But now finally, let's look the code. First thing what I wanna say is that the code is not completely my done. Because I use RFID module first time and I had no idea how to use this. So I use lot of helps from other YouTube videos and Google of course. But let's start with the stepper motor. This constant float steps per rev equal 22 means that the stepper motor have to do 22 steps for full turn. And next key red equal 64. This mean that the stepper motor have gear box inside and the gear ratio is 1 to 64. And the next line is full equal steps per rev times gear reduction. So this full means full turn for the motor output shaft, in our case the gear. Then int button equal 7. Of course this is the button what will be pushed by steel rod when the door is unlocked. Now when we move to the void loop. There is first if. There you have to put your cart UED code. And if you put your cart to the RFID module and the cart is correct, then happens another if. If digital read button equals low, this means door is locked and stepper motor will lock the door. For this we need half turn. That's why there is steps required equal full divided by two. The lock is just designed this way that we need only half turn. And next is stepper motor set speed. Uh, if you wanna move the stepper motor faster then just increase the number but if you wanna move slower then just lower the number. But I recommend to leave this just like that. But if the button is pushed then happens else. This means the button will be high. Everything here is almost same. Only difference here is we divide full turn by negative due because we want motor move other ways to lock the door. And in the end is delay two seconds. This means that when you lock the door, you can unlock the door after two seconds. Please forgive me the poor explanation because I am also still learning Arduino. And reason why I am doing the explanation over here is because everybody who watched this video can take this video as a tutorial and make this by yourself at home. So please don't hate me in the comments when my explanation is not so great than somebody who know Arduino way better than me because I, I really did give my best. <laughs> and actually I will use Arduino way more in my videos because this open a whole new world and I can make more complicated and cooler stuff. So guys, if you did like this video and you wanna see more Arduino, then maybe hit the like button. And if you are new, then maybe consider subscribing and turn the notification bell on to not miss my new videos. But right now, see you guys next time. Bye.